Well, I've decided to make a jewel thief, or more specifically, the blinking jewel thief. Because I haven't seen a firefly in decades and decades. Used to see them when I was a kid and I lived in Ontario, but I don't live there anymore and apparently they're in bad shape, the poor little fireflies, due to a light pollution. So, I've got the parts. A uh, toroid uh, from uh, Compact Fluorescent Lights, a uh, transistor, a uh, BC337, which I got in Mailbag 37. I've got some 0.2 millimeter uh, enameled wire, LEDs, and for the blinking version, I've got a couple different types of capacitor sizes of capacitors, and of course, I want to have it yellow. So I might make more with different colors. And I've got a stock of fairly dead batteries. So I've got everything needed to start it. But before that, or actually look at the time in the corner, that's when I'll start making the coil. Uh, but before that, I've got to cover one little thing on the bug zappers. It was mentioned in my last uh, video on the bug zapper that I didn't actually uh, show with the resistance in circuit. So I've got 10 meg, 10 meg, 10 meg. So there's 30 meg across uh, these. And to show it's not on, I turn it on. Yeah, I'm getting a pretty good zap. Release. I'll just do it again. Release and nothing. So 30 meg works fine. Twenty meg. And it looks about the same. Release. And of course nothing. Actually I could hear a tiniest little pop there. And for 10 meg, hold it down. I think it's actually a tiny bit less, not by much. Release, and it drains it out completely. Release. And done. So I think I'm actually going to go with uh, 10 meg. So that's just to complete that video. And back to the other video. Well, the first one I'm going to start wrapping around is this one here out of uh, compact uh, fluorescent light. So I've got one here. I've got a hundred millimeters of this one here which is 0.2 no 0.2 millimeters and I'm not going to be showing too much of the wrapping because all it will be is my hands in the way but there's a start I'll continue Actually, that was um, 1,000 millimeters, not 100 millimeters. And uh, when I finished uh, the wrap of uh, 36 times around for both of them, uh, I had 140 uh, millimeters uh, cut off. So, now I'm just going to tin the ends. And bring the iron up to maximum heat. And essentially... Burn off the enamel. There's one. Two. Three. Four. So I used my digital voltmeter to determine that this wire 
and this wire is the same wire and these two are the same and it's 1.6 uh, milli henry's way more than i wanted okay yeah not bad for a first try the nice thing is is that uh, you can always take the wraps off and the other one is the same so I'm just going to record that so 36 oops, 36 wraps equals 1.6 uh, milli henry's uh, I wanted around 600 ish so I'm going to take this one and wrap it with only about uh, 12 so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just simply going to take some off until I hit the number of uh, Milli Henry's I want this is going to take a bit of time so the next day I set it all up I reduced the number of turns down to 25 on the toroid so it's now producing 778 micro henries the, here's the current curve for this circuit here and that's for across the LED it's just so right now this thing is oscillating at 400 or 44 uh, kilohertz looks like it's just always on but half the time it's off actually more than half the time it's off so here's the circuit but ignore this part this part here is that there but I'm feeding it through the 1k so now if I uh, switch it over to this circuit probably not the best way for the transistor but tough You'll notice that it's just occasionally blinking. Let's see if you can see it. Oops. Turn off some lights. Turn off some more lights. And that's actually what I want. Because it's just going to be outside. So let's look at the trace here. There we go. It's pulsing at about one per second. And that is uh, because of this. I've got 33 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor, 270K uh, resistor here. So it's basically charging, getting it up to this where it'll trip it, and then it just goes through the cycle again. Using very little uh, current right now. But, this is my final product. But I decided to take a look at what happens when you use different resistors, or not really resistors, LEDs. So, using this circuit here, if I used a green LED, which has got a forward voltage of 3.3-ish, uh, it uh, oscillated at 25 kilohertz. The red oscillated at 60.7 kilohertz. And the blue uh, was that 23.25 uh, kilohertz so changing the LED uh, changes the frequency if you're set up on that mode something just to keep in mind so what I'll do with this project now is take this uh, clean it all up minimize it stick it in uh, some clear heat shrink and hang it outside oh I also tried to make some other inductors 
or transistors or transformers. This one here, total failure. Uh, there's probably just too much of a gap between the coil of this inductor and my outside wrap. This only got up to one uh, micro Henry. Eh, not good enough. This one here is a super small uh, toroid. There's about 20 wraps on there for each side. And let's see, it was oops, 70, 71 um, micro Henry's and it oscillated away at 140 uh, kilohertz. Uh, this one here was an intermediate and was 260 micro Henry's and oscillated away at 79 uh, kilohertz. I even tried to use some 0 0.06 uh, wire, enameled wire. That was a dismal failure. It just kept breaking. And my fingers are way too big. So, here's a Jewel Thief uh, project. I'm going to call it Firefly for when it's in that slow blinking. Should be cute. I've got a few batteries laying around, so uh, that'll be it.